Hey Zalevis, this is Super Zomica Barbecue, and today we are going to be checking out something pretty phenomenal. Uh, you'll be able to find out what that is in a second, but we've got a few things to get done straight away. And as first of all, is to check out my rewards, which I've got my, for my faction. Now my faction is the Melts, you've probably seen it in the previous episode I did. And, uh, yeah, basically you get all these amazing gifts from it. We're going to unbox those, first of all. That's the first thing I do whenever I record or I open up anything. Also, I'll get myself my Shame at Man bag. If you haven't got yourself one of these, if you want to spend a little bit of money, not too much money on the game, if you just want to spend a little bit of money, this is really, really good. Because what this does is it gives you uh, 30 bags that have coins, as you can see, up to 10,000 coins, and 2,000 coins up, which helps you with leveling and stuff like that. Especially if you're uh, new to the game. And also gives you a bit of cash as well, which you can save up to buy packs with. And in fact, uh, over a couple of days, in fact, over a month, you'd probably be able to get a couple of packs for that and maybe get yourself some better superstars. But uh, we're going to get that now. And also, the great thing about this is, is you get a guaranteed double gold star superstar at the end, which I believe is Orndorff. And two gold superstars go obviously into bronze superstars, the three bronze superstars. So they're one rank lower than some of the best cards you can pack in the game. So we going to some cash there, 40 cash. And also 5,000 coins. So that's not bad at all. And that's going to really help. As you can see, you get a Mr. Wonderful card. Two gold star uh, from these bags. And they refresh every 24 hours, uh, which is awesome. We've got to go and get some of these bags open. I will segue out a little bit because uh, there is one bag I'm specifically very interested in here. But I am just going to get myself some loot. This is a medium TP tour bag. I've been going over the tour. I've been doing some hard matches. And I'll show you how to get to hard mode. We've got to sell some stuff here. Some props for in game. Let's get a couple more of these. Got four more of these bags available. And these just come from you literally specifically. All you need to do is just be in a faction. That's it. And the, the faction is available to, uh, the faction we've got, Melts, is available to anyone who is a Twitch subscriber. Details of how to, to go to, to my Twitch channel and subscribe for free are in details in the description below. If anyone who is a current Twitch subscriber actually gets in there and stays in the team. Uh, well, we could be saying the team, but you say the faction, because I'm used to the supercard teams. We've got health packs there. We've got some additional coins, some extra bits and pieces. These are the bags I really like, though. The Faction Benefactor, and you get yourself some really awesome stuff in, in these. This one, 10,000 coins, just for being a, a Faction Benefactor. If we then press an open for the second Sparky Bag, we get two things this time. Gauntlet Blitz tickets, which are uh, events, and 30,000 coins. Just off the bat, that's, that's amazing. And that is going to help me get some crazy, crazy stuff. We've also got this gift here, but... I don't know what's inside it, right? I, I don't know what's inside it. It just says, Thanks for being the biggest fan of WWE Champions. Enjoy this gift hand-picked for you. But I don't know what it is. And I don't know if anyone else has got one. Because I posted on Twitter. A few people got a little bit salty. And they were like, Yeah, this is just something you've been given personally. But I, I wonder, and I want to ask, before I open it, which I'll do in the next episode of WWE Champions. Remember, if you want to see more WWE Champions, to hit the like button as hard as you freaking possibly can. If you can do that, that would be incredible. I had a gift box come through when I first started playing WWE Champions, and that included like some the starter bits and pieces, but I wasn't alone. It was because I, I installed it, I believe, on release day, which means that, and I started playing on release day, so like just like the, the, the tutorials and stuff. And I was just interested, because as soon as I posted that on Twitter to say, oh, look, this has come through. In fact, so I think I'll show you my messages. Have I got messages here? Where can I go to my messages? Here we go, messages. Here we go. Uh, it's called a limited time fan appreciation event has ended. You're really rocking the ring. Congrats on owning this special WWE super fan gift. Hand pictures for you. Keep an eye on our store featuring tab for feature tab for more limited time offers and packs to continue ruling the ring in WWE Champions. So I don't know um, what it's for. If you could let me know in the comment section below what it's for, that'd be great. I am building up a, a lot of the t-shirts I mentioned in the previous one to get the free packs. Which is great, and also I haven't really been doing much to get the guaranteed two star superstars. Those, there's a lot you need for those. That's a lot, and I've got some loots down here. I'm saving up for a big, big loot opening. But like I mentioned just now, if we could hit a phenomenal forearm on the like button, it shows me that you guys want this series to continue, and we'll continue to number six. I didn't even think we get past number one. I said this in the last episode, and you guys are really taken to the game. You you absolutely love it. My run WWE champions has been a little bit insane. I just didn't expect it to be this popular, but I am. I'm very, very happy it is. 
But I'm going to show you something that I packed yesterday that literally is the definition of phenomenal. So I went into here the Mega Superstars pack. AJ Styles is this weekend's because Elimination Chamber. Uh, Mega Superstar, which means he's a free bronze star. They originally advertised to be a free silver star, and the stats on that were like 5,900 or something crazy like that. Um, but no, we've got this AJ Styles Superstar, which is available, the phenomenal one. He is a uh, style of character I don't have many of, so it'd have been great to pack him. And I managed to go open myself 10 of these packs. And I want to show you the result because I genuinely was not expecting to get anything good because I've got a couple of superstars I'm now just getting repeat posters for and I've stopped buying packs as such for that purpose but I thought you know what I'm going to give it a go and then I'm going to show you what hard mode is and how hard mode works a bit of versus maybe just watch because we get something absolutely incredible as I said the definition of phenomenal Yes, as you can see, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. In that same pack, I also got myself this Seth Rollins that I've maxed out and I'm now waiting to get my additional tokens so I can level them up to the max and get a couple of uh, training posters. So I also got myself that double bronze star Seth Rollins in the same pack. But this card, and that's actually really useful because I've not got many strikers. Uh, a lot of my strikers are very, very low level. But I got myself this phenomenal AJ Styles. And I, I, I was so, so surprised when I got it. But I'm so pleased. So, so pleased. And as you can see, there he is. The phenomenal one. AJ Styles. And as I mentioned, it is a class I don't have anything of. I got this Kalisto as well, which is in a single pack I bought a couple of days ago. I got that Kalisto, which is very good. And that helps me out massively. But this AJ Styles is just going to be... The definition of just incredible, phenomenal. So it's gonna level up a little bit. And we've got a couple of additional uh, uh, training points we can level them up with. Uh, I've done. I got a couple of these just by doing normal mode. So I've not actually been grinding too hard on this. Uh, let's just level up his um, his roaring lariat. Um, there we go. And nothing else I can level up at the moment. So we'll just leave that as it is. But if I was to level up to the max I can at the moment, get to level 47. Let's have a look at where Jerry the King Lawler is. Jerry the King Lawler is at 44. So he would be just around about the same stats. But for the time being, I'm happy just leveling him up whilst I get my coins up. At the end of the day, he's going to be better than most of the other cards I've got now. And I probably need to get his uh, his moves leveled up. Because though that has a big, big impact. But um, I, I'm so, so happy that I've got myself this AJ Styles Superstar. If you've been lucky enough to pack yourself anything, even if it's a free pack, if you've opened the free packs that I mentioned yesterday, getting yourself an AJ Styles from one of those free packs. I know someone who did use it one pack. He had got 400 of the Elimination Chamber t-shirts and got himself the phenomenal one in that one pack. And I know that guy. Uh, I was just like, I'm so jealous. In fact, that spurred me on to go and get myself a couple of packs afterwards. So I blame him for the fact that I then got myself uh, the AJ Styles card. So if you've got something very similar, let me know in the comments section below whilst I leveled up this AJ Styles card because I am going to want to use him very, very, very soon. Uh, in fact, I may just level it up a little bit further and then we'll get on to it. Uh, but there's, there's one criticism I have. It'd be nice if you could level multiple levels instead of having to go up to like, the very, very maximum. Uh, if you could like level up 10 levels, for example, and it would cost you, I don't know, 50,000 coins. I don't know, something like that. That would be nice to have. So if anyone from WWE Champions is watching this, it would make leveling a little bit less of a chore, especially if you've got a lot of coins you're looking to get rid of. So let's get into it. I'm so, so happy I've got an AJ Styles card. You know, he's not my best by far because him and uh, Jody King Lauder, I noticed this with Daniel Bryan and the John Cena, uh, the Ruthless Aggression John Cena. That they had uh, similar stats, but they were lower than the AJ Styles and Jody King Lawler. So I'm really happy I've got those instead of getting the other one. I'm going to open up the battle now and go to um, the road. And I'm going to show you what I've been doing on the road, okay? Now, you're probably going to say to yourself, well, this is boring because it's really, really easy. But you can see I've been maxing out every single, uh, every single tour. And the reason I've been going to every single date and maxing it out is because if you go to normal here, you can see every single date, 
on the tour I have maxed out because that gives me access to hard mode. Now even in my position right now where I've got myself two triple bronze star superstars, which is just insane, um, I am actually benefiting from what they are giving me and you get quite a lot of things. I've only, I mean, I, I did Atlanta myself, I've got Miami and I've already benefited from uh, this just by getting a couple of additional loot crates and briefcases. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to use Jerry the King Lawler this time and we're going to see how we get on with this. Um, I've also, but in these, but in these matches, because there's such a big, big difference in the superstars, and this is a great way, thing to do if you're stuck in the live tour modes or in versus. You want to get yourself some additional bits and pieces. Go back and do hard mode because the easier the opponents, the more likely it is you're going to get uh, the the max amount of loot crates. And as you can see here, I could, you know, I, I'm actually going to. What should I do here? I'm going to get the loot crates because I don't need to rush. I don't need to rush at all. Um, even though it's like small points, even if he hits me, it's going to take minimal damage off of Jerry the King Lord. So I don't have to worry too much at all. I'm going to use the yellows here because that will get me a huge row. In fact, I've just beaten Luke Harper just like that. 6,900 damage. Uh, wow. Uh, so, yeah. There you go, that's what I mean by you might get yourself some additional loot crates in this one and you, you, I've got myself two loot crates just by playing one game and I played for about a total of 10 to 15 seconds and I've won. And you can get this just by going back, making sure you've got all three stars and the thing is it doesn't cost you anything to do this. Why that's beneficial is because if your person gets down to low health you just use someone else. Uh, so let me see. Jody King Lord is actually quite strong against uh, Kevin Amis, but I'll tell you what, we'll use AJ Styles in the final match. We'll use AJ Styles in the final match if we can, or where he's really strong. I have got a... Oh, here we go. This is easy, okay? So I just switch down this blue for the loop, and now take out an entire row, and will basically take down three quarters of his energy straight away. And then I just use the red. That's going to take it down to zero, and we get the pin. <laughs> See, I told you. It, it's not particularly very hard, but you're going to get yourself a lot of stuff from doing this. And you'll see that the loots are going to rain down because I got myself a three-star match. With also no health loss whatsoever. But that match, I didn't get any loots at all. So uh, th that's one of the only matches that's actually happened. And that's purely just because the placement of the, the loots isn't particularly fantastic. Here is Jerry the King Lauder and the American Badass Undertaker. I wish I'd got that offer. To get the other Undertaker, but you know what? I'm not going to complain about a two gold star Undertaker. That's I'm definitely not going to be complaining about that. So I've got yellows at the top there, reds. I really need a blue, a black, or a purple. So you know what? I am going to use the red ones down here. That's all gravy. Okay, and then that didn't do anything for him, so I'm now going to use the blacks up here. Which is going to give me some for my initial move. I don't know what to call that because I think I think the blue one looks like a signature and the purple one's like a finisher. This one's just like an additional move. Uh, what is it called? If, if you know what it's called, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but there's a body slam there. That's going to take him down and keep him down. The yes man, Daniel Bryan. And I take down a little bit more damage there. And I've still got an extra move. So what I do here? Purples, reds. Is there any fours? Any fours that I can go for? No, it doesn't look like there's any fours. Which sucks a little bit, but you know what? That's cool. I uh, tell you what, let's do this instead. Oh wow, I didn't I didn't think that was coming. Uh took out an entire line. Uh there is Jody King Lord uh, kicking Daniel Bryan's ass. Daniel Bryan is just yum. He's, he's done. He's done. Thank you very much. Uh so I'll be gonna get myself some additional loops here. We did. We got ourselves another couple of loots, and that's uh, another couple of loots, and that's going to give us some more stuff. Get ourselves some free uh, training points uh, for the purples, and also get some for the blues as well, the aerialists. I keep forgetting the purples, what they're called. Um, I, I will get it right at some point. It's your powerhouse brawlers, the charismatic ones. Here we're going to use AJ Styles for the first time. Finn Balor. And he's an aerialist, so it'll be, it'll be basically equal, other than the fact that his stats are like way lower. And this is going to give us the silver. Uh, the Juggernaut, uh, which I think for early on is quite a weak reward for hard. Because at this point, you're probably going to have gold superstars, not silver superstars. But I, I appreciate it. it probably just builds up the, the overall roster. Um, I don't think I have a gold Roman Reigns, actually, for the powerhouse. So let's, let, let's see how we get on with AJ Styles. Here he is, the phenomenal AJ Styles. I'm going to use him right now. 
Let's see what we can do with him. We've got greens here. He's a, he needs black, purple, and blue gems. And we've got none that we can get. GG. Let's use the green. We're still going to hit him pretty hard. I love how Finn Balor looks. Is he available as a normal character in the game? Or is he another like special superstar that you have to purchase? Uh, it'd be nice to know, actually. Because I love a card like that. And I'd love to know where to get it. Okay, so, uh, reshuffling board, uh, that's not going to get us anything else. But we can. Let's see if it is there as a 4. Is there a 4 here? No, there's not a 4 here. Ah, yes, there is. We've got a blue here. Just down the bottom. That's going to take out... Oh, oh, damn. I think we just... I think we just beat him. I think he's dead. He might be dead. Is he dead? Yeah, I think the, the demon's dead. We won. <laughs> well, that was phenomenal. Uh, no pun intended. Wow, that's... Jesus Christ, that, that literally kicked his ass. So, AJ Styles. We got ourselves Roman Reigns. And we work ourselves for the NXT Tour. So, now we need to move on to the final look of the NXT Tour and actually build up our, um, our last set of matches, which I'll do off cam. But let's go and have a look, actually. Let's see what you need. So, we've got the phenomenal AJ Styles. You know what? Let's just do this. We've got, we've got like a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes. And I'd like to use AJ Styles again. So... We can, we can use this. AJ Styles and King Barrett. The tag team you won't see in WWE right now, but I would absolutely love to see King Barrett and AJ Styles would be incredible. Just imagine King Barrett in the Bullet Club. Just imagine if they ever did that at WWE. If they ever got the rights to do that at WWE. Here you go, the Demon Finn Balor. I'd love to see his entrance as well. Uh, okay, so. Uh, what do we got here? Red gems, blue gems. Every kind of gem. Except the ones I need. I've got black ones up there and blue ones over here. So you know what? I'm going to go for the blue ones because it's lower down on the board. Uh, it does a little bit of damage to Neville. A little bit is just like a... Yeah, it, does, it did a lot of damage to Neville. Ne Neville's pretty screwed. Right, here's another set of blue. Uh, we've got a interesting opening up here with the, the the blacks, but I've got some reds, yellows. Hmm. Let's go for this one. We'll level up our uh, third signature move. That's not a clothesline for my AJ Styles there. Here we go. So, we've got some moves. We've got a finishing... They've got a Stars Clash, the Roaring Lariat combo. So, we're going to get a Stars Clash in this episode. We get the uh, Roaring Lariat combo. Um, but we're not going to get anything else. So, we can't go for the, the second move, which I believe... Is it a Phenomenal Forearm or is it something else? But here's the Stars Clash. We lift them up. Here we go. That looks good. They should, they should do the roll up into the pin, but... I, I appreciate that might not be doable. We got ourselves the free count, and that match is over as quick as it started. There's some additional loots. We get 6 out of 13. That's enough for two loot crates. Thank you very, very, very much. We got ourselves a little NXT Dean Ambrose there. That's quite cool. Um, although, I, although I've already got a gold one, so that's just going to end up being like training points or something. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go off cam, and I'm actually going to grind a little bit of the versus mode. Because as I mentioned, if you haven't seen it yesterday, go check out the other video where I talk about the free packs and how to get them. They're actually going to show up just over this side. I wish I could reach my arm out and just kind of show you and just drag it across. But yeah, they're going to show up over this side. And that actually shows you how to get these uh, free packs using the Elimination Chamber. In the next update, we're going to have more versus mode. We're going to look at that free gift and see what we get from it. If you guys have got one yourselves, let me know in the comment section below what you got. And I'm going to start lifting myself up the leagues to get myself all those amazing uh, t-shirts. If we can hit that like button with a phenomenal forearm, that would be absolutely incredible, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel using the widget that's going to pop up just down here. And also don't forget to check the description below for details to Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Go lock it and follow. And one last thing, and that is to... Zonif!